Hello and welcome to part 11 of my Let's Build Hogwarts series. We are working on the courtyard, so this is part 2 of the courtyard. We've done our great hall, we've done our entrance hall and we've almost done the courtyard. We are also going to do the caretaker's office here, or Filch's office. So we've got most of it up already, believe it or not, we are a good chunk done. Did we put a door on the other side? We did. So we're going to start on the roof. So we want our spruce slabs, which is this one. And to start off with, we're going to go around the edge. So, I don't think this will take us a full hour today. So, if we have a bit of time, I am going to make a couple of changes in the Great Hall. You don't have to make those changes. But, I know that there are a few of you following along with this. And I've seen some of the images of your builds and they are awesome. Um, and one of you, Tors has changed the colours of the banners of Ravenclaw and yours are better than mine so I'm going to go change mine to match yours so if anybody else is following along shows your bills we have our lovely discord server the Minecraft Hogwarts community. You can show us your builds on there. Even if it's not Hogwarts, we have a section there for other Minecraft builds. So now we're going along the top. Our Minecraft community is also on Facebook now as well if you fancy checking us out there. But we do tend to be more active on the Discord. Which is essentially just a giant chat room where we can show off our pictures. We also have quizzes on a Wednesday and a Sunday. Sundays is the Harry Potter quiz. And on Wednesdays is the general knowledge quiz. I'm hoping I've got that the right way around. So as you can see here, we're just stepping it up each time we're going round. It's just a step up. Because the slabs, it's only a half step. about I'd say the let's level it off Okay. 
Oops. Oh no, poking holes everywhere. So let's curl this round a bit. Hey. Do the same here. Let's curl it round. Yeah, so that's right. Level it off with that one. So this entire section from the turret is flat. But we're also going to put one on the outside here. Again, if you can use your commands, use your commands. I'm not actually sure you can with this section, actually. Never got my head around the commands myself, so. so just curl it round, just pop it out one, and then it'll come round. Pop this out one, and it'll curl round. out one and then it can curl around quite nicely. here, curl it round. Oh, made a hole. Oh, 
Oops. wall will be raised up in a moment. We'll come back to that though. So some finishing touches to add to it. The main bulk is done. So next up is cobblestone. Cobblestone wall. And what we're going to do is on each pillar we're going to rise it up to the middle and then when we get there add it out by one but not here because there's a door and it's a corner but start above the door and just come out like that or is that better even get like that. Hmm, I'm not sure which one I prefer it. Then we'll leave it like that. So go from the floor 
all the way up to the pillar until you reach the middle block and then pop it out one. all the way around. Not that corner, I don't think we can do it. Oh, put one there. That looks alright. So now we want torches and we're going to put the torches on top of the ones that we're popping out like that but not in the corners there as well because they do have torches on the outside there as well don't they okay so now we want stone bricks we're going to come on the outside we also want some stone brick stairs And some slabs. Want some stone slabs. Okay. So we'll start off with the stone bricks. And we're gonna go at the edge of each one. Go up by four place a stone brick stair on top. Up by four. Yeah. One, two, three, four. What does five look like? No, I just stick with four. Do you prefer five? Do five? I prefer four. One, two, three, four. Stone book stairs. One, two, three, four. Stairs. corner let's stick an extra one here ok 
Okay, so get your stone slabs. Pop one around the floor of the pillars. Go. That looks all right, doesn't it? It's the same all the way around. Same here, add another one on the end. get rid of that last one. No, ways. Yeah, that's fine. We're happy. That's the way it's supposed to be. We're happy, happy. Yeah, okie dokie. So I just want to continue with the stone slabs on the inside. Just put them round the cobblestone pillars. Yeah. I can never make my mind up whether I like these bits or not. But I think they look alright on the base of the cobblestones. that because that's an entrance and it could make it into a trip hazard Okay, so that's essentially the courtyard is done. And that looks really good. I do like that. Of course I like it. I wouldn't do it if I didn't like it, would I? Okay, so we're going to come over here. And we're going to extend this wall. Take that chunk out. Place that with stone brick and add in a cobblestone. Like that. Let's add a top. 
torch so we can see what we're doing. So just take away that up to there. Same with that side, take away that up to there. Place those two with stone bricks. And add in the cobblestone floor. Okay, so get your stone bricks and we're going to bring this wall out until it's too short. Like that. And then raise the wall up until you can't go no more. So, bring in two from the wall. Glowstone. Now take away our torches. Now, if I've worked this out correctly, getting rid of these two bricks, so we're going one up, these two bricks should take us into the entrance hall. Yeah, I like it when it works out right. So we're going to put another door there and some cobblestone stairs. There. There will be more to add at a later date. This will be the entrance to the entrance of the Puffle Puff and the kitchen corridor. So we're going to go down there, but that's not what today. Torches. Put torches around your doors. Same there. So now I'm going to go over to this side. Is around that door. Okay, so take out the end stir, take off the last wall, and we now want stone, plain old stone. Go along the edge like so. Raise it up. Ah, we can't get through. should have three here so we're going to follow the middle one pop out two and stick another door some cobblestone stairs right there and torches around the end now 
here we're going to follow the wall in the corner pop out two and stick a door okay now then this is where we get a little bit more complicated so we need our stone bricks I've got to remember this correctly now. That's not stone brick. Right, one. Two, three, four, five. It's a bit like the towers on the roof. Door is one, this wall is two, three, four, five. Okay, so you've got five, one, five, one, five, one. And there is five here. So you've got three stone bricks, one stone and one door. So it's one, two, three, four, and the door makes five. So fill in the floor with cobblestone. Up to the wall, not including the wall. In fact, let's go round and do the wall. That's just where we do our floor. Okay, so what we're going to do for the time being is we're going to bring this down to meet the bottom of that kitchen. So this came down a total of seven, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, so we're going to bring this down seven also. So we've already got one because that one doesn't count, it's level. So we've already got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, and then we'll leave this. We will work our landscaping around this when we get to the landscaping. Which I'm not looking forward to, I've got to admit. I haven't done it myself yet. It's going to be tricky. But I've got plenty of time to figure it out. So let's start on this side. That's one, two, three, four, five. That's got six in it. Why has that got six in it? One, two, three, four, five. 
that's got five, one, six, one, five, one, six. Hands like, where's that got six in it? Has it got six up here? It has. That's not right. Has that got six in? No. Five, one, five. Oh, that's weird. Why does that fit then? That shouldn't fit, but it does. mistake. I do apologise. Door goes there. That's better. Very sorry, I put the door in the wrong place to begin with. That's why that didn't work out. Right. So we want to replace those bits with stone and that one so now we've got one two three four five Apologize because you'll have all have just copied my mistake. Okay, that's good for now. We'll worry about the rest much later. Right, so we're going to go from the floor. So we want to bring this tower up seven from the floor. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I did not mess that up too much for you. Let's 
looking all right so now we want our scion terracotta and replace the doors with that so for the scion terracotta go along the outside of it first like we always do I say like we always do we've only done that roof so far <laughs> so just round the outside oh we did the towers too so. now this has quite a short flattish roof so it's only going to be raised up by one each time rather than two or three so start over here bring it in and up one ah. Um, I think we might have to demolish a bit of the roof here. Yep, those three planks need taken out, or the slabs. So now we get to decorate it. We get to do the inside. Well, that's a bit dark, isn't it? Let's put that there for now, shall we? Okay, it is going to look a little odd, unfortunately. There's not a lot we can do about that unless you make all the stone the same. And I don't like it all being the same because then it just feels like you're in one great big stone brick box. I like to vary it up a little bit so it doesn't all blend into just one thing. Okay, so I think we should put some light in here. So we're going to start off with the windows. So we want some glass. I prefer using the glass panes when we can because the glass panes looks better, I think. So glass pane. While we're here, shall we get some spruce planks? If we can spell it. And we're going to need some ladders. Oops, there we go. And we're going to need some oak fences. Oak pressure plates. oak stairs we are also going to want some chests and some bookcases there will be more but we can only fit so many on our row so let's start off with the window so we can get some light in here so we're going to go one up and the one in there, so I'm going to take out those two. Then a space of one on this side, one in, so it's those two there. I think we'll do the same over here, I think. So take out those two, one up, one in, leave a gap of one below them and one in on that side. We will put another one here. I think we'll put it up there. But we're only gonna put the one there. So 
we're going to get our spruce planks and you're going to go the same level where the stone brick ends and then fill it in as the ceiling let's go down okay we're going to need a row down here in fact should we just make that a little bit off center that might look better there yeah that looks a bit better there doesn't it put ladders up it take out that one so we should be able to get up there nice and easy yeah put some torches there we'll come back up here in a bit what's that oh, okay we need that don't we so let's replace that whoops ah. okay so we'll come back up here in a bit why can't I get down there we go Oh, I need those ladders back. Need to put one there. There we go. So we're going to give Filch a table. Just a little one. Pressure plates on top of the table. And we're going to put in a chair for him there. I'm going to assume he has two chairs, but because he doesn't get any visitors, he'll have shoved it up there. It makes sense in my head. So we're going to get our chests. We can take away that torch now. And we're going to put them up the side here. And side there they can be his filing cabinets because we know he has a lot of filing cabinets according to the book and we're going to throw some well, bookshelves here to make it look a little organized ish he's going to have a couple of books but he likes his filing cabinets more so we're going to put those there right there is more to do, but I want to go up. No, nope, okay, we've used everything, haven't we? That's definitely filch, isn't it? It's a filchy feel. Okay, so we're going to clear our inventory. And now we need. Da, 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 some chains because Filch likes his chains. We're going to give Filch a bed. What colour bed shall we think? I'm thinking either grey, brown, or black. He strikes me as a brown. We'll go for a brown. Uh, we're going to need some more chests for in his room and some carpet. We'll go for brown to match his bed. And I think that's it. We'll get rid of that. Actually, that was the one right there. Oh, no. One more thing. Uh, cobwebs. We want some cobwebs. Okay, so chains. Now, we know Filch loves his chains. So, we're going to dangle them. from his roof okay now I don't want to make them all the same length because that would be weird as if having chains in your rooms is not weird there we go Do a 
long one there, I think. Should we put a torch over that door? Yeah. Put a couple more chains in. Because we know he likes his chains. He spends all his time polishing his chains, doesn't he? Change the cleanest things in here. There we go. Have I overdone it? No, I don't think so. We're going to stick a cobweb up there. One up there. How's that looking? Yeah, it looks all right. I'm gonna go up into his bedroom because he's gonna sleep somewhere, isn't he? I'm obsessed with making them all beds, and I do make them all beds. They've all got their own little private offices and their own little private rooms because they've got to sleep too. Some carpet around the bed. And he's going to need some chests for his personal belongings. And a couple of cobwebs. Stick a cobweb there and there. There we go. Happy, happy. And that's it. Oops. So our courtyard is complete. Filch's office is complete. And we've prepared the area for the entrance to the Puff Puff rooms. So I am going to make a couple of little changes. I'm going to make two, but I haven't got time to make two, so we're just going to make one. Might come back and make the second one at a later date. Then again, I'm quite tempted. So anyway, as I said there are a couple of you following along, and Tors, or Centaur, as she's known on the Discord has changed the colours of these raven claws and hers looks better so we're going to change mine to match hers so we want blue banners but we want the light blue banners and we're going to oops said daisy we're going to change the brown for the light blue That looks so much better. Oh, you know, I might have time to make the other change. I've just accidentally deleted that fence. Did I use oak or spruce? I think it was spruce, because I like the spruce. There we go, yeah, it was spruce. Oops. Oh, I accidentally took out a blue banner there as well.
right, took two out. See, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? See, Pause is a genius. So, and there is one other thing that she's done that I have to change to because it looks better than mine. These armor, these knights, I keep calling them, they're not armor men, they're knights. My knights. Lady Camelot has to have her knights. We're going to change them. So let's clear our inventory again. And we are going to keep the knights, but we're going to change the armor. If we can spell it. It is... The netherite. So we want the netherite boots, the netherite pants, the netherite chest, and the netherite helmet. Oh, well done, me. So, because these look a lot better. Look at oh. I didn't think it'd take the armor stand. So now we need an armor stand. There it is. That looks better. That looks a lot better, I think. Oops. I want to say more natural. But the stone knights. I'm not quite sure how natural stone knights can look. I took out a stone brick. Ah, I can hear the trader man. I didn't know he would come. I hear the llamas. I just know where he is. Oops, we've done it again. Oh! Where have I been putting those then? There we go. See, that looks so much better, doesn't it? They 
you do. I like that. Happy, happy. I was watching Dr. Rue earlier. Very sorry. Happy, happy. Where's that tradesman? I can hear him. I know he's about. He's in the kitchens. Right, and that's us done for today. Our courtyard is done. And it looks awesome. Filch's office is done. That looks awesome for Filch. Right, so next time is the start of the Hufflepuff common rooms and dormitories. I suspect that might take a good two to three parts. So there's a lot of circles to work out in there. Then again, it's different because I don't have to dig them out, but I do have to build them up. And they're going to go underneath there. Which I'll explain next time. So until then, take care of yourselves, like and subscribe, don't forget to share me, and there we go, see, I like looking at this, I've just seen the tradesman, there he is, look, what are you doing on there? Sorry, that's a rip-off. Yeah. Right, anyway, without getting distracted. <laughs> right, so next time, the Hufflepuff area. Probably start off with the kitchen corridor, then we'll lead into the Hufflepuff common room and we'll start adding on the dormitories. Again, two to three parts, I think. We shall soon see. So until then, take care of yourselves. Like me, subscribe me, share me. Come talk to us in Discord. And until then, I shall see you soon. Like and subscribe. <laughs>